Brexit Britain is ready to trigger Article 16 of the Northern Ireland Protocol in a bid to ditch custom checks with Ulster, according to a report. The United Kingdom could fire a warning shot to the European Union by triggering Article 16 of the controversial Northern Ireland Protocol and by bringing legislation before Parliament that would cut customs checks between Great Britain and Northern Ireland, The Telegraph has revealed. The broadsheet claims a decision whether Brexit Britain will invoke Article 16 will be made by the end of November and also suggests this is expected to result in month-long formal negotiations between the bloc and UK. But the UK's reported move to consider cutting customs checks before Christmas is believed to also warn the EU that the UK is ready to take such measures even if negotiations between Lord Frost, 56, and his Czech-born counterpart Maro Sefcovic, 55, continue to only make limited progress. The state of play is we are not seeing much moving forward in negotiations, a Whitehall source told The Telegraph. We cannot go on like it is, no. It is not sustainable. They added, there are real world problems on the ground. Sources also said the technical changes would help businesses know what new arrangements for goods traveling across the Irish Sea to and from Ulster would be. According to the Northern Irish Government website, £11.3 billion out of Ulster's £23 billion worth of exports went to Great Britain. In comparison, just £4.5 billion went to the Republic of Ireland and £2.4 billion to any other EU member state. However, an EU diplomat has warned the Telegraph, EU capital like Berlin, Amsterdam, Copenhagen and Paris would expect a robust response. They added, we are ready for peace but prepared for war. Simon Coveney, 49, Dublin's Foreign Affairs Minister, added, this would be a significant act that would damage relationships between Britain and Ireland and put extraordinary pressure on parties in Northern Ireland. Speculation of a trade war between the UK and the European Union comes amid rising Brexit-induced tensions in Ulster. Express.co.uk reported a bus in Newton Abbey, located in the Leave Voting DUP constituency of East Antrim, was set ablaze at around 7.45pm Sunday night. Many in Ulster's loyalist community, including Northern Ireland's major unionist parties, have been left frustrated by Boris Johnson's Brexit deal. The new accord, signed following the UK's departure from the EU, resulted in Ulster being kept inside the EU's single market, the creation of trade barriers down the Irish Sea and Northern Ireland remaining under the jurisdiction of the Luxembourg-based European Court of Justice. But Boris Johnson, 57, promised voters in Northern Ireland there would not be customs checks down the Irish Sea. Speaking at the DUP conference in 2018, the Prime Minister said, we would be damaging the fabric of the Union with regulatory checks and even customs controls between Great Britain and Northern Ireland on top of those extra regulatory checks down the Irish Sea that are already envisaged in Theresa May's withdrawal agreement.
The Telegraph reports while there has been less focus on the legislative measures, the UK government could bring a secondary legislation before Parliament which could reduce the number of customs forms needed for goods travelling across the Irish Sea, limit requirements for food products to obtain special safety certificates beyond those needed in the rest of the UK and allow medicine approved by British regulators to be sold in Ulster irrespective of whether they obtain approval by the EU.